but and nobody got hurt. Ah! Hey, I need that. Sorry. Well, but and nobody got hurt. Well, but and nobody got hurt. If you hadn't been teasing me with it, we wouldn't be in this mess, Laura! <laughs> Don't make me... I'm a mean boy! I'm a mean Look at me! Bad, Laura! Bad! You're so bad! 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 Who are you? Uh, who? Us? Yeah? Oh, uh, we are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Um, nothing. You already said nothing. I didn't say nothing. Yes, you did. Nothing, zilch, nada. Nothing, zilch, nada. Oh, yeah, zilch. Uh, no, I say zilch, you say nada. What about nothing? <gasps> yes. Oh, uh, we are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Zilch. Nada. 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 Right. Got it. Oh, uh, we are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Noodle. Uh. Nada. Uh. Nada. Uh. So vain. I bet you think this movie's about you. Don't you? What? Don't you? <laughs> Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Oh, good one, boys. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Very funny. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Uh, uh, who's there? Big, goofy asparagus in a turban. Uh, big, goofy is. Uh, <laughs> ha ha, very funny. You crack me up. Mr. Twisty? Who, who's there? Show yourself! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, it won't open! Ah, it won't open! Get me out of here! Ah, ah. Oh, close to for me! I went very deep in my help. family! We may need some out. help over here. Uh, try using your teeth. Uh, uh, breathe through the burlap. It's a loose knit. Oh, dear. Okay, kids. Rest up. Has anybody seen my teeth? Bad underwear. Grandma, I sure do love your pie. Is this the road to Tipperary? Here, yeah, kitty, 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 here, yeah, kitty. Oh, those polo days at Cambridge are really going to pay off. Chicken turn, chicken turn, nice pony. Just a little more vertical on takeoff. Plant and. Does anyone have ibuprofen? I need ibuprofen. Hey! Oh. You know, these lobsters remind me of my Aunt Lucy. This may come as a surprise to you, but my Aunt Lucy was a lobster. Yeah, right. No, really. I mean, they're a pretty big one, too. Sometimes when she fell asleep, we used to pull on her tendons and make her legs move. No, No, you... really, it was fun. We did it at the church picnic once. We actually got her walking across the table. What? Hey, they told me to ad lib. You don't give me a script, you take what you get, my friend. True, but the kids got a point. That was odd. Dude, you are weird. Where? 
there. Right there. <gasps> Medic. Sorry, it's kind of slick. Told them what they were doing wrong. They said they were so. <laughs> I'm alive! You won the contest, Laura, but let's try not to brag about it. Nice one with the lights, Bob. My pleasure. For the next song, maybe I can drive into the river! Yeah! Drive into the river, Bob! Oh, drive into the river, Bob! Or maybe you could help me with the map! Oh, I'm sorry. Is there anything you want me to tell Twippo when I meet him? Laura! Wow. Wait a second!
<laughs> well, I'm glad that's over. Did you say something? Oh, dear. Nobody got hurt. <laughs> wow! What a shot! Hey! What's that? Ooh! What's seafood? Maybe it's like tofu. Only saltier. I was sorry. I'll do better next time. But there isn't gonna be a next time! Mr. Bob, how are we gonna get to the Twipo concert? Yeah, we're gonna miss the ball bunny song. I don't know. I don't know about any ball <laughs> bunnies. I'm a ball bunny, ain't got no fur. I'm a ball bunny, bear, bear, bear. I, I lost my ticket. Serves you right. It's your own fault for waving it around in my face. I have to go to the bathroom. You know what, usually not that clumsy in the car. Two flat tires! Usually I'm quite dexterous. How in the world are we gonna change two flat tires? Where's the phone? I lost my ticket. If you hadn't been teasing me with it, we wouldn't be in this mess, Laura. <clears throat> May we help you? Here. May I please use the bathroom? Down the hall, first door on the left. Thank you. Ooh, Captain Ahab's Moby Blaster! My favorite! What do you want? Well, sirs, the asparagus hit me in the head with a guitar, and an angry mother porcupine shot out our tires, and one of her babies got me. And I need to use your phone to call my uh, tow truck. My wife. I see. Next to the Moby Blaster. Thanks. Well, in the meantime, would you like to have a seat? Maybe enjoy a nice... combo platter? Steak, steak, eat it, eat it, shrimp, shrimp, knead it, knead it, steak and shrimp, steak and shrimp, nitro, nitro, eat it, eat it. Prefer poking or non poking? <laughs> None. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Philip! <laughs> you are one clever pea, no? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Ah! Voila! SQA for this happy! Make yourselves comfortable. I will be back to take your order. Why don't you two wait here? I'm gonna go call a tow truck. Maybe we can still make it to the concert on time. Yeah, everyone but me. Hey, it's your own fault for teasing me. You're just getting what you deserve. Hm. I'm coming with you, Mr. Bob. See, they got one guy. He, all he does, he just folds these napkins. Oh, the napkin guy. He works at night after everybody's gone. Yeah, you know, uh, he used to fold maps. No, no, listen to me. He takes one fork, he takes one knife, and he takes one fork. And he rolls it up in a napkin. He just makes it and makes it into that little swan shape. Okay, but you can have a better biscuit. Excuse me! Ah! 
How's it going? Hey, what's up? Who are you? Uh, who? Us? Yeah? Oh, uh, we are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Uh, didn't you hear our song? Well, yeah, but... Look, Sonny. Can I call you Sonny? Junior. Eh, pretty close. Look, uh, Junior, we couldn't help but notice you were having a little thing with your friend over there. Yeah, you weren't being very nice. Well, it's her own fault. She was teasing me, and now she's getting what she deserves. Right. Junior, we've seen these types of situations before. Happens all the time. What you need is a little compassion. And maybe some scampi. Hey, I saw that in the menu. What is that? What's compassion? Ooh, that's a hard question. Mm -hmm. Well, compassion is when you see that someone needs help and you want to help them. That's what I thought you'd say. They all do. Yep. We find it helpful to illustrate with a little story. A story? Yep. You know, we call ourselves the pirates who don't do anything, but that's not entirely accurate. Oh, yeah. Remember when we did that one thing with that one guy? Oh, do I ever. I remember it like it was yesterday. Are you guys still doing that pirate thing? Watch your tongue, matey, or we'll have to! What'll we do? We won't do anything. We're the pirates that don't do anything, remember? <laughs> oh, that's right. Arg, you got off easy today! We need more Mr. Twisty's Twisted Cheese Curls! Yeah, and root beer! I told you, boys, no more cheese curls until you pay your tab. You still owe me from last week. But you'll take away our chance to win the Mr. Twisty's Twisted Cheese Curl sweepstakes. Come again? Inside one of those bags of cheesy goodness is a golden ticket that'll change our lives forever! <laughs> Well, you could work here for me. That way you could earn more cheese curls. Oh, that's a good okay. idea. So, uh, what do you know how to do? Well, I'm pretty good at lawn darts. Ping pong. I can play ping pong. Croquette is my speciality. When do we start? Monday's good for me. We were short on cash. It seems not doing anything that didn't pay very well. So, what do we do now? Um, nothing. You are a genius. Uh, are these fish fresh? You bet. Oh, yeah. Ugh. They were fresh when we cut them! That's right! Two weeks ago! <laughs> <laughs> Ninevites. Besides the fact that we were low on funds, this was a memorable day because he showed up. Jonah. Now, Jonah was a prophet of God, which means he was one of the very special people God used to deliver messages to Israel. He was kind of like a mailman, except his letters came straight from God! <laughs> anyway, Jonah loved helping his friends by bringing them God's messages. Sometimes the messages were good, sometimes they were not so good. But when a prophet talks, everybody listened! What's the word, Jonah? Yeah, what's the word? Stop right here, Reginald. Dear people, I bring you a message from the Lord. Oh, it's a message of encouragement. Do not fight, do not cheat. Wash your hands before you eat. There is nothing quite as sweet a message from the Lord. Be a friend, say your prayers. Heaven loves a heart that cares. That is why I Share a message from the Lord And if you follow God's command There will be peace throughout the land You will live long and happy lives With your sheep, your kids, your wives <laughs> Don't 
Don't eat pigs, don't eat bats, don't eat beetles, flies or gnats. Stay away from all of that, a message from the Lord. Do what's right, don't provoke, put four tassels on your cloak. Do not laugh, it's not a joke, a message from the Lord. Do not fight, do not cheat, wash your hands before you eat. There is nothing quite as sweet. A message from the Lord. All together now. Be a friend, say your prayers. Heaven loves a heart that cares. That is why he came to share a message from the Lord. that would change Jonah's life. A new message? Uh, yes. W what's that? People being unkind? Lying? <gasps> Stealing? Oh, dear. That sounds like a standard turn and repent to me. All right, name the town. I'll be on my way first thing in the morning. Uh, where is it? Jericho? Uh, Damascus? What? Nineveh? I I'm not aware of any Ninevehs in Israel. Uh, no, I don't think... Uh... Oh. You mean that Nineveh? That Nineveh wasn't in Israel at all. It was the capital of Assyria, and it was the biggest, meanest city around. Now, the people of Nineveh were particularly mean to Jonah's people, the Israelites. They lied. They stole. But worst of all, they slapped people with fishes. They even slapped each other with fishes. They didn't know the difference between right and wrong. The Ninevites were so mean, in fact, that most Israelites, including Jonah, wished God would just wipe Nineveh off the face of the earth. <laughs> Needless to say, Jonah was shocked that God would want him to deliver a message to his enemies. You don't want me to go there. You don't know what Nineveh is like. Perhaps you've never been there. Well, of course you haven't. A god like you would never go to a place like Nineveh. For that matter, neither would a prophet like me. <laughs> oh. No, it cannot be. Your messages are meant for me and my brothers. We are your chosen people. In Nineveh? Well, they're not! There must be some mistake, a big misunderstanding. It's really hard to take, how could you be so demanding? For years I've been your messenger, from Morasheff to Gath. But Nineveh should get no chance to turn. They've earned your wrath. No, it cannot be. Your messages are meant for me and my brothers. We are your chosen people. And Nineveh? Well, they're not. We're the good guys and they're the bad guys. Guys, please don't send me there with a message of your mercy. Damascus. 
just all Jerusalem, I'll be there in a minute. Any town in Israel, just ask me, I'll be in it. Shiloh, Gilgal, Jericho, just say the word. But Nineveh, that is just absurd. Joppa, Aphek, Jezreel, they're all just fine. But Nineveh, oh Nineveh, no. Nineveh is where I draw the line. No, it cannot be. Your messages are meant for me. Yep, it sounded like God wanted to offer Moisey to the Ninevites. Uh, the tow truck's on its way. You know, Junior, I love your dad and all, but that's the last time I pick him for a co-pilot. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> We're telling a little story. You should listen, too. As I was saying, it, it sounded like God wanted to offer mercy to Jonah's enemy. What's mercy? It's what this whole story is about. I thought it was about compassion. Remember? The menu? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there's that, too. Better check your menu again. We got two specials today, and they go hand in hand. Compassion is when you want to help someone who needs help. Mercy is when you give someone a second chance, even if they don't deserve it. This story is about both of them. That's right, my cucumber friend. You can't have Moisey without compassion. But Moisey is even more important. Jonah was afraid God was going to give Nineveh a second chance, and that he was going to help them, even though they didn't deserve it. So, what did he do? Well, never before had he gotten a message from God that he didn't want to deliver. He didn't know what to do! Morning, Jonah. What's the word? What? Nothing! There is no word! Uh, nothing? At all? No! Nothing at all! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy... Morning, Jonah. What's the word? Uh, stop it! There is no word! Nothing! Uh, I've got to get out of here! Th there is no word! I have no new messages! And above all, I am not going to Nineveh! I can't sell you a ticket to Nineveh! What? Who are you? The name's Angus. I sell cruise tickets. There's nothing like a cruise on the Great Sea to clean the sand out of your wicket, Hey! But you can't sail to Nineveh. It's landlocked. See? You can't go by sea. You gotta go by land. But I don't want to go to... Oh, hello, Mr. Jonah! What's the word? Ah, uh, he's going to Nineveh. I am not going to Nineveh! Why on earth would I want to go to Nineveh? In fact, I'm going in the opposite direction! What's the farthest thing in the world from Nineveh? Well, if you have a few days, you could sail down to Egypt. It's lovely this time of year. There! I want to go there! Uh, Tarshish? Why, that would take weeks! It's the other end of the world! Perfect! How much? Even if you had the money, no one around here has the time to sail all the way to Tarshi. Oh, we couldn't possibly. We we're very busy with the cargo and stuff. You know, pirates have to pillage and plunder, and, and that really takes it out of you. Yeah, and uh, Alf is on in a half an hour, so uh, I don't think... Uh, and besides uh, that, uh, we don't really sail at all. So the answer is no. Money is no object. Next stop, Tarshish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelettes! Where do we put
put them. Hey, Larry, have you seen the towelettes? I got it, I got it. No, those are baby wipes. We took to it like a fish to water! What have I done? What have I done? You are powerful and attractive. What? Who's there? You do not run from your problems, but confront them face to face. Ah! The bag! It speaks! What did you do that for? Mr. Twisty? Who, who's there? Show yourself! <laughs> Hello! What are you? Who? Oh, me? Oh, my name is Khalil. I am a caterpillar. Well, that is only half true. My mother was a caterpillar, my father was a worm, but I am okay with that now. Khalil? Khalil! You've got to get your gut into it! I bet you are wondering why I am here. Ah, uh, you tidy up around the ship. Oh, oh no, I do not work on this ship. I am a small business operator, a traveling salesman. I sell Persian rugs door to door. See? Oh, lovely. By the way, do you know where this ship is going? Oh, yes, Tarshish. Tarshish? Oh, what a trip! You know, that may be just what I need. The Persian rug business has not been going very well around here. But I still have a positive mental attitude because of my motivational tapes. You are a skilled metal worker. I am a skilled metal worker. Ah, I did not know that. Yes, well, that's lovely, Carlisle. But if you don't mind, I think I'll just get some rest. Jonah? Huh? You are Jonah. You know me? Of course I do! You are the most famous prophet in the whole world! Well, I don't know if I'd say... I sell your licensed merchandise! Look, look, look! I have the Jonah rugs, the Jonah plush toy, with sound chip. A message from the Lord! A message from the Lord! Well, I'm flattered! You are huge! You are a celebrity! Well, from I... town to town delivering God's messages! What a life! You are a big shot! Oh no, it's a man me. God can count on to deliver his messages! Yes, well... You and God are like peas in a pod, like two humps on a camel! You always swear the same way! <laughs> Oh, that is a good one. You know, humor runs very deep in my family. My uncle was a big star back at a comedy club in Nineveh. The Taj Mahaha, standing room only. And then he was hit with a fish. I'm telling you, those people do not know right from wrong. Oh, Nineveh. Hmm? You are sad now, my friend? 
Something about Nineveh makes you feel sad inside? I don't really want to talk about it. I just need some rest. Oh, you do not have to tell me. Oh, good, because I already know. You do? Oh, yes. There is a woman in Nineveh, is there not? A beautiful young asparagus? She is waiting there for you, no? Um, no. You were promised to be married, but your job is now in the way. The woman's father is the head of an international ring of camel thieves. This very day, you set sail for Tarshish to deliver a message that will break the back of the camel thieves, but in the process will break the heart of the woman you love. <laughs> Inside runs very deep in my family. Do not worry, the first one is free. Please, Carlisle, I just need to get some rest. It's Khalil. But you can call me Carlisle if you want to. When we get to Tarshish, you can deliver the message and I'll sell the plush toys. We can be a team. A message from the Lord. Uh. Well, sweet dreams, traveling buddy. We can make our plans to save those camels tomorrow. You are a go-getter. Yes, which way is Tarshish? Right this way! You can't miss it! Oh, thank you! Jonah! What? Who is it? Jonah! Where are you going? Oh, it's you, Lord! Uh, I'm g going to... Uh, I'm going... Jonah! Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you! Jonah! Oh dear, 
I am most desperate for a lobster. Sorry.
That was easy. Well, should we pull him back in? Uh, I don't see why not. Ball. If I could only find some pins. You found better than that, traveling buddy. It's me! Oh my. So forget about Tarshish. All we need to do is get this whale to swim to Nineveh. You give the message, I sell the plush toys. We'll be right back on track. Carlisle, 
please don't speak to me. I'm having a rather bad day. Well, you don't need to be so down about it, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Look around you! We're inside a whale! We're going to be digested! Do you know what that means? Of course I do! Digestion runs very deep in my family! I'm just trying to have a positive outlook, you know. You know the difference between you and me is that you see the whale as half empty, but I see the whale as half full! I don't know what that means. Neither do I. Oh, I might as well face it. God gave me a job to do, and I disobeyed him. I ran the other way! I've done something terrible, and now I'm getting what I deserve. I'm going to die here in this whale. Have you ever seen anything so pathetic? Mm -mm. This boy needs some help. What? Who's there? Take it easy, Jonah. We're on your side. What? How did you know my name? How did you get in here? Were you in the bowling ball too? Uh, no. That's not how we get around. No, we came straight from the big man himself. You mean... Mm-hmm. And just like you, we deliver his messages. So, your prophets too? Not exactly. You see, we work on a slightly higher level. Y you do? And Jonah, we've got a message for you. Second chances, second chances, 
From inside the whale, Jonah prayed and asked God to forgive him for not obeying. He told God that if he got another chance, he would go to Nineveh, even though he didn't like those people very much. So did he get another chance? Shouldn't you be looking out for your tow truck? Oh, yeah, 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 that, that can wait. Did Jonah get another chance? Well, God saw that Jonah needed help, and he wanted to help him. That's compassion. But did he give him a second chance, even though he didn't deserve it? You know, mercy. After three days, Jonah noticed something strange happening. God told the whale to point up Jonah, and Jonah got his second chance. And just like he promised, he headed straight for Nineveh. Asparagus has a message for us all! Most 
I do not think this is going very well. Oh, let's just go home. I did what you said. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Jonah? What? <gasps> it is our friends from the ship. What on earth? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Yeah, you're, you're... Fish food. The whale spit us out like so much bad couscous. And here we are now, delivering the message to Nineveh. But they wouldn't let us in, so I guess we're going home. Hey, I bet we could get him in. Huh? Hey, look, it's the cheesecake blokes. All oh, right, coming back for a visit, are ya? Yep. yep. <clears throat> Is that fellow with you? Oh, oh yes, uh, he's with us. You were them, eh? Yes, indeed. Why, I sailed halfway across the world with these. Fine, gentlemen. All right, you can come in. Enjoy your stay in Nineveh. What was that all about? How did you do that? Remember that money you gave us? Uh, by the way, you aren't going to want that refund, are you? Uh, Good, because we spent it, every last penny, on cheese curls. Cheese curls? Yep, 1,458 bags of Mr. Twisty's Twisted Cheese Curls. And you'll never guess what we found in bag 497. The golden ticket. We won the Mr. Twisty's Twisted Cheese Curls sweepstakes. Uh-huh, and the prize was? Uh-huh. But in addition to our enviably fashionable headgear, we also got a tour of the Mr. Twisty's factory right here in Nineveh. Which, despite its unseemly location, was a splendid experience. And believe it or not, in this town, we're famous. Hey, look, here comes a city official to greet us. Oh, hello! Uh, we were in the neighborhood, so we thought we... These are the men. Arrest them at once. But... Excuse me. Um, what have they done? Thiever. High theft against the royal city of Nineveh. That's ridiculous. Oh, is it? No, wait. I thought they were free samples. Take them away. You can't do that. I'm sorry. Are you with these men? Well, uh... Yes, I, I suppose. Hello, oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh wonderful. It, it must be time for my speech. Hey, I, I can't move. I can't move either. I got something on my face? <laughs> this doesn't look good. I'm sorry, guys. I thought they were free samples. They were right out there in the open in a big bowl. Very misleading. Oh, don't go blaming yourself. Uh, no, uh, blame him. Let's put it all in cheese curls, he says. No, I say, we need a bag portfolio a little stock a little bonds a little cash or cash equivalents and then maybe some snacks but no put it all in cheese curls he says man you got a plan for the future what it got us here didn't it not here literally but we were somebody we were celebrities we are going to die People of Nineveh, these four men and that small whatever it is. I am a caterpillar. Well, that is only half true. Have been found guilty of high thievery against the royal city of Nineveh. For their punishment, the slap of no return. <laughs> What's so funny? Observe. What is happening? 
thing that is making you all cry like little babies. Why on earth do you take snack food so seriously? People of Nineveh, I give you King Twisterman. It's Mr. Twisty. Well, that explains it. He looks happier on the bag. Your royal godliness, these are the perpetrators of the heinous act against your curls of cheese. For their punishment, the slap of no return! <laughs> Proceed. Wait! Won't you at least give the guilty parties a chance to speak in their own defense? You may speak. Well, as I understand it, the snacks in question were right out in the open, in a large bowl. I think we'll all agree this was somewhat misleading. Don't you think? Slap them. No, you don't understand. I'm not really with them. I mean, how could I be? While they were taking the tour, I was at the belly of a whale. What did you say? Uh, I said, while they were on the tour, I was in the belly of a whale. But you're not dead. No, that's just it. I was in the whale for three days and nights, and then I prayed to my god, and the great monster spit me up on the shore so that I could bring you all a message. Hmm. Asparagus, here in Nineveh we bow to the great fish. We celebrate the great fish in our art. Yes, I noticed. If what you are saying is true, Yes, how do we know if he's telling the truth, sire? Smell him. Your Highness? Smell him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I I'm terribly sorry. I've been meaning to shower, but... He has been in the great fish. We must hear the message. What? Oh, the message. Yes. Uh, what was the message? <laughs> it's been so long. I, uh, uh, oh, yes. <clears throat> Stop it! <gasps> Stop cheating! Stop lying! And especially stop slapping people with fishes! Or this entire city will be destroyed! <gasps> A message from the Lord. Well, the king was very upset. He had no idea they weren't supposed to do that stuff. No one had ever told him before. A decree from the king. Let everyone call urgently to God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Perhaps the god that brought this man out of the great fish will give us a second chance. And let the asparagus and his friends go free. So the king and the people of Nineveh said they were sorry, stopped the fish slapping, and started being nice to people. Everyone must have been really happy, right? Uh, well, almost everyone. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So long. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. You see, Jonah figured God wouldn't really forgive the Ninevites. I mean, they'd done some terrible stuff. No, he figured God had something else in mind.
are we doing? Oh, it's time to watch the fun! And what fun would that be? Well, I did what I was supposed to do. I warned them that they were going to get in big trouble. So now that they've had their warning, it's time to watch God wipe them off the face of the earth. <laughs> I picked a safe distance so we won't get singed. So Jonah waited for God to destroy Nineveh. Even now, God was compassionate towards Jonah and caused a plant to grow that shaded him from the hot sun. Oh, yes! Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Jonah kept waiting, but it didn't seem like anything was happening. He wondered if maybe God was forgetting something. All right, I, I did my job, so uh, fire, uh, brimstone, whatever you pick, right over there. Uh, I'll just sit here under my weed and wait. All your waning made me hungry. It was just a weed. Just a weed? It, it was my shade. It was my friend. Oh, dear Lord. How could you let this happen? <laughs> Would you look at yourself? You care more about that weed than about all the people in Nineveh. Well, I... Why are you here now instead of back in the belly of that whale? Because God is compassionate. He wanted to help you. And because he is merciful, he gave you a second chance. Oh, yes. And I'm very grateful. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe God loves everybody, not just you? That maybe he wants to give everyone a second chance? Uh, well... He saw that those people needed help. That they didn't know right from wrong. And he wanted to help them. And that is why he sent you. And when you told them what they were doing wrong, they said they were sorry. They put down their mackerels and their halibuts, and they asked God for a second chance. And by golly, he gave them one. Don't you see? God wants to give everyone a second chance. And so should we. Well... <laughs> If they get a second chance, those fish slappers, well, then it would be better if I were dead. Oh, I wish I were back in that whale. <laughs> you are pathetic. You know, patience runs very deep in my family, but not that deep. I am out of here. What? What are you doing? I wanted to be big and important, just like you. But the world doesn't need more people who are big and important. The world needs more people who are nice and compassionate and merciful. That's what I want to be. You can find yourself a new traveling buddy. Goodbye. You can't just leave. Can and am. Who will I talk to? You can't just leave me here all alone. Uh, hello? Uh, Carlisle? R Reginald? Uh, Carlisle? Khalil? 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 Oh. The end. <laughs> 
Wait a minute. It's over? Yep. That's how it ends? Yep. But what did Jonah learn? The question, my friend, is not what did Jonah learn. The question is, what did you learn? Well, I learned that we need to help people who need help. And we need to give second chances, even if they don't deserve them. But what's that got to do with us? Hey, Tomato. Hey? Your friend there, uh, the big asparagus. If I'm not mistaken, he didn't do such a good job helping you with the map. Oh, it was a disaster. He said he was sorry and that he'd do better next time, but no way. Uh-uh. I... Oh. Mercy. I guess everyone deserves a second chance. Yep. Now get out of here before my crab legs get cold. You know, that still wasn't a very good way to end a story. Well, what do you want? A big musical number? Well, yeah. Who do they think I am? Twipple? Yes. <laughs> Here. Oh, well, I have a concert tonight, uh, but I'm running late. I can't find Route 59 to save my life. Uh, I stopped here for directions. We're going to your concert tonight. At least we were. Uh, and then porcupines. And underwear. And pirates. And well, now it looks like we aren't going to make it at all. Good heavens. Well, if it's a ride you need, I've plenty of room on my bus. You can all come with me. Yeah! Oh, 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 yeah! Everyone but me. Laura, you can have my ticket. But Junior, it was my fault. Why, that was a very merciful thing to do. Tell you what, I'll give you all a ride to the concert, and I'll make sure you all have backstage passes! Speaking of mercy, have any of you heard the story of a man named Jonah? Yes. Oh, uh, well, uh, would you like to hear a song about it? Is it like the Bald Bunny song? Ah, not really. It's more of a big musical number. Perfect! When I was a boy, I went to church back home in Arizona. And that is where I heard the tale of a man whose name was Jonah. Now, Jonah was a prophet, but that's not why he's remembered. We tell the tale, cause in a whale, he nearly was dismembered.
life, you probably don't ride on a camel, and you probably won't wake up inside a large aquatic mammal, but all the same like Jonah, there is something you can do. Everyone deserves to get a second chance from you. Compassion and mercy from me to you. I hate to break up the party, but who needed a toe? Uh, have we met? <laughs>